Eddie Hearn joins us ringside here. Let's talk about uh, some of what we just saw there. AJ coming up April 1st. We're only a couple of weeks away. I can't believe how quick it's coming around. You went to go and see him in Dallas. How's he looking? He's looking good. Oh, I'm nervous, Eddie. I mean, like, you know, all of a sudden, talk about, yeah, you know, this is a straightforward fight for Anthony Joshua. Not at all. You know, let's look at the facts. He's coming off two defeats yeah. to the pound for pound number one, Alexander Usyk. But, you know, you saw the emotional side of, of AJ in the last performance and after the fight. Franklin's full of confidence coming off the Dillian White fight. He looks all of a sudden about 20 pound lighter as well, yeah. like people do. And this is a big moment for Anthony Joshua's career. People talking about Wilder, White, Fury. He has to win on April the 1st. And Franklin's a good fighter that's going to come well equipped. But AJ's worked himself hard out there. Humble, humble surroundings compared to the glamour and the lights and, and the science of the EIS up in Sheffield. This is just him and Derek James and Errol Spence that I saw during the week. And just hard work. I think this is the hardest he's worked in any camp. And I really hope that he can produce the performance that he deserves on April the 1st because I believe he's still in his prime. He's so dedicated to the sport. He just loves to compete. And... Uh, he has to beat Jermaine Franklin. If he can do it in style, we'd love to bang from the rooftops. Yeah, I remember that April 1st. That's coming up in a couple of weeks. Fingers crossed he gets past that one. And then there's two big fights, one in the summer and then one in the end of 2023. At May 6th, Canelo returns, the undisputed 168-pound king. John Ryder gets the opportunity, mandatory as well. So he's worked for the opportunity. It's a tough one, though, isn't it? Going to Canelo's backyard, not in Vegas, but in Mexico. Yeah, and, you know, people talk about the selection of John Ryder. It's not a selection. It's a mandatory. Yeah. He's the interim world champion. You know, he beat Danny Jacobs. He beat Zach Parker to become mandatory. He's earned his shot. Canelo's coming off a great run. You know, unified fight against Billy Joe Saunders in front of 75,000 at Dallas Cowboys. Caleb Plant for Undisputed in Vegas. Dimitri Bivol in Las Vegas. Can, uh, Triple G. Yeah. That's his last four fights. Now John gets the chance of a lifetime. Good timing for John Ryder. I think maybe a couple of years ago, just in that fight with Callum Smith, maybe he wasn't ready for a fight like this. This is well beyond the levels he's boxed at before. But it's a dream shot, and I promise you, John Ryder will give it everything in Guadalajara. Canelo, coming off the surgery. I don't know, am I clutching straws? You've got Maybe. to clutch straws when you're fighting. John Ryder will be taking every little bit of that Absolutely. He, into the fight. At May 20th, we do go to Dublin. It is a big one. It's not a man in Serrano. Some saying it's a tougher one in Chantel Cameron. Katie Taylor goes up to 140. I think she's only boxed there just the once. Yeah. This is a tough test for Katie. Really tough test. I mean, in boxing, particularly and these shores, people have talked about Katie Taylor against Chantel Cameron for a long time. Two reigning undisputed champions. The first time in boxing that two reigning undisputed champions of the four belt era of faced off with each other. It's just a tremendous fight. We've got the press conference on Monday in Dublin. It's going to be amazing to see Katie Taylor returning home. And what a card as well. Mm. Uh, Terry Harper defends her world title against Cecilia Brackhouse, uh, as well as so many others. Hogan against Metcalf. Great fight for the IBO world title. Gary Cully on the card. Another female world championship fight we hope to be announced. But Katie Taylor comes home to Dublin May 20. It's going to be really special. Not a bad schedule. Not too bad, is Not it? Not too bad. Carrying Tank Davis as well. By the way, don't forget <laughs> April 22nd in Wales, Joe Caldina against Rakimov, and an unbelievable card there as well. So, only one place to be, Adam.